One of the most famous figures in the hustling world is a man called the Flipper, so-called because he won and lost millions of dollars on the toss of a coin. The reason he won so much money was because he was in complete control of every coin toss using sleight of hand. Paul is waiting for Alex in this bar and he feels like a drink. Quite a few drinks actually. And of course being a hustler, he's not planning on buying any of them. He persuades these regulars to join him in a game. Three people have to toss a coin and whoever gets the odd one out has to get the round. Seems fair enough, doesn't it? Well, it's not. This is the coin toss. So, not a question. I just got here. You're half an hour late. Flip it. <laughs> Alright, I've got one anyway. Do you want to? Oh, yeah. 50 pence? Yeah. Well, only works for three oh, of us. Right. Odd one, buys the beer. Okay, ready? Alright, All right. go. Tails. Tails. Heads. 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 Beers are around. I'll have another one of those. Alright. Just four of these, Carl, yeah? Four? Yeah. Don't forget to tip. <laughs> so the mark accepts his loss and goes off to buy a round. Come back, Carl. Thank you. You're here. Fantastic. Cheers. The hustlers have got out of paying for four pints. Not bad, but they're not going to stop there. You know what will go well with these? It's a shot. Ah, you got a flick. Kyle's done it. He's done it. I've done it. What you got? L50. Right. All right. <laughs> Tails. Tails. Heads. On you. On you. Any shot? Any shot? Any shot you want? Once again, Alex and Paul have wriggled out of buying another round. So, how have our hustlers been so lucky? This is a classic example of two hustlers ganging up on a mark. All I've got to do is look over to Paul and he signals me whether he's going to throw heads or tails. The signal is very simple. Before the toss, Paul flashes the coin to Alex, indicating which side he'll make the coin land on. So this is how I control the coin. I flip it, genuinely flip it, let it land in my hand, I run my thumb over it, I feel whether it's going to be heads or tails. And then all I have to do is make an adjustment to show which side it's going to be. But how do I know whether the coin's going to be heads or tails before I even flip it? That's because I use a controlled toss. When I flip it like this, it actually simply revolves in space. It doesn't turn over, but I give it a little wobble so it looks to the human eye as if that coin is flipping over in the air. But when it lands back in my hand, it's still heads or tails up.